I'm Omar Villa. You're watching Ed Magic TV. It's Sam Bush, see it's Ed Magic TV, so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. First of all, please tell us, our school matters. How did school affect you? Oh, forget about it. I have a great story that directly correlates with this. And that is, there was a teacher actually who inspired me to do what I do and I found my calling when I was playing sports and I kind of lost my discipline and when I was in college, this professor guided me towards the theater and that is actually how I ended up here now in Hollywood making films and television and doing theater as my career. And it, it couldn't have worked out any better for me. What did you play in football? Because you're bigger than me and that's hard. Well, they wanted me to play football all day, all night, and I never played officially. Why not? I was always scared of getting too broke up. So then I ended up playing baseball and basketball and got broken up in every way from that. <laughs> just tell us, you, you just pretty much joined CSI yeah. uh, as... You're, you're the technical forensic expert? I, I'm, not I'm a bit of a chameleon on CSI Miami. I mean, I'm on the scene. I'm in the lab. I can do a little bit of everything. They brought me in from the night shift where I was, you know, uh, uh, really uh, a hybrid chameleon that could do it all. And so the same kind of thing applies now, except for there's so many smart minds in the day shift, people you've already known, Horatio Kane, Callie Duquesne, you know, uh, Ryan Wolf, all of the great Delco, all of the great people that I... I use my expertise sparingly depending on where it's needed. So, AK, you came from the night shift, AK, you got hired on the show. Because I was actually on the night shift. Ed. Night That's shift. Ed. I'm Jeremy. Ed. <laughs> no, um, what else can we see you in? Where can we catch you in the future? What does the future have in store for you? Well, I can't call it. My crystal ball's broken, but right now you can catch me on the rest of the episodes of CSI Miami for this season. And in this summer, I have a film coming out called The Sorcerer's Apprentice with uh, uh, Nicolas Cage and Alfred Molina and Jay Baruchel, Teresa Palmer. It's going to be a great summer. Uh, what kind of role do you have there? Uh, I, it's actually, strangely enough, a science movie about the, <laughs> it's about the mixture between witchcraft, sorcery, and magic and science. So uh, it's another thing that Jerry Bruckheimer decided that I would be good in, and I was more than obliged to give him my best. Oh, me too. And anything that man says, <laughs> I'll go for it too. <laughs> man, that's my Uncle Jerry. You better watch out. Hey, can, I, can he be me, my Uncle Jerry? Hey, you got to talk to him about that. <laughs> where is he? I'm protecting him. Um, where can we find out more? Do you have a website, MySpace, Twitter, all that? I got it all. You got to check me out, omarbensonmiller.com, and you can see all my links there. For, uh, for my foundation, my non-profit, uh, and for Twitter, for Facebook, all of it. Tell us a little bit about Well, what I'm trying to do, my foundation is called the Omar Miller Foundation, and what we're doing is we're trying to take food that's left over from television and film sets and take it to food pantries, uh, ki uh, homeless shelters, kitchens all over the city, and the hopefully it'll end up well? being... It's a little bit more difficult with the restaurants. Right now, I'm in the film industry, so I'm trying to, you know, start with the film industry exactly. And uh, that's our goal. Perfect. We wish you all the luck. We love you on CSI Miami, and we'll watch the movie uh, when it comes out. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you.